so hello everyone it's tutomania here with another short tutorial video so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can install windows 11 using cmd and bypass the requirements for unsupported pc so before we get started make sure to subscribe our channel tutomania and press the bell icon for upcoming videos now first of all you have to download the windows 11 iso file so i have already uploaded a video on how you can download that file from microsoft website so make sure to watch that video and make sure to download the sam language package for installation that you are already using in windows 10 so after downloading the windows 11 iso file you have to come across the location where you've downloaded the file like this then you have to access it to folder like this which is when 11. after that just copy this folder and come across local disk C and paste it here like this. After that, open up the folder, copy the location. Just copy this location, close the folder, go to CMD and make sure to run it as administrator. After running it as administrator, let me just increase the size. What you have to do, you have to pass that location here. Then you have to write backslash and set up dot exe then you have to press a space and then forward slash like this and you have to write down product server and press enter so it will open up the setup for you and it will also bypass the requirements so you don't you won't be facing any issue according to the requirements of windows 11 so once you've done that just press next after that, it will check for some updates. So wait until the until it checks for the updates. After everything done, you will see a you know page like this where it will search say to accept the license so just press accept and it will ask you choose what to keep so here i'm getting only this keep personal funds only and other one is nothing so why am i getting that it's because my my package that i've downloaded for windows 11 language is different than the language that i've installed in windows 10 so make sure to download the correct language packet for the windows 11 then you will getting this keep file settings and app option also so once you've done that just press next and it will start updating your windows 10 into 11 so that's it for today's video so if you found this video helpful and want more tips and tricks videos like this then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel tutor mania and i'll see you in my next video see ya